Hello, and welcome back to this channel. Today, I'm gonna to be answering one of your biggest questions. What is so amazing? How does our ice cold lemonade sell just so well? So, this is a great question for just people that wanna buy this line or people that wanna just go into this line business. So, I kinda of wanna go a little bit more detail in how we've made this line one of our top sellers. We sell, a, we sell pretty much one every single day at one for the least amount we usually sometimes it's one to five depending on how good that day is so this is one of our this is probably on our top three i know i just said it's number one but there's some other signs that are close up there but this is definitely our number one seller there's three big slimes that really sell the most which you can like kind of tell a little bit more I'm not gonna go more into detail about those other signs, but I'm mainly just gonna be talking about this one. This is our number one seller. We have a ton of sales on it. And if you guys wanna explore like pretty much customers' uh, opinions about this, you can check those reviews out on our Etsy page, Tropical Twist Sign Etsy. But now that we've kind of covered a little bit over that, I'm gonna go a lot deeper into talking about what the slime is. So, it's an ice cold lemonade. Perfect thing for summer that is kind of one thing that makes it sell a little bit more it doesn't sell as much during summer as uh, it doesn't sell as much during winter as then summer but it still sells quite a lot we pretty much sell at least one every single day but during the winter we probably sell one a week it definitely slows down but the demand is still very high on that slime I also want to show you this. It comes with some little tiny lemon fina, fimos, if you can see that at the bottom. It comes with a giant lemon slice, and it comes with two big ice cubes. I really like this stuff. It comes with the slime. It was one of my top selections. Once we first got this from our charm supplier, I was like, you know what? We gotta make a lemon slime. It was pretty much the first thing I made after we got a giant charm order. And a few months later, we just kept placing more orders from them. We were just instantly selling them out. So, this slime is a clear slime. It smells exactly like lemons or lemonade. However you want to describe it, it smells exactly like it. It's it pretty much, it's, I made this slime over a year ago and it still blows my mind when I smell it. I'm like, wow, how did they make that scent? So, I also love the label. It is a little bit more simple than our other ones like like, you can check that out. It's simple, but it's still awesome. I kinda wanna show you some of our more complicated things. We have invested a little bit more money into how our labels look, like our brand new mint chocolate chip scoop. Even though it is backwards, you can kinda check out like the details. Same with one of our other mint, uh, or chocolate chip uh, cookie monster. That one has a lot of detail too, but yeah, so this is a clear slime. If you are planning to buy it, I would recommend maybe buying one of our three activator pen assortments. You won't need to activate it much, but if you're planning to play with it pretty much every single day, uh, maybe in school, maybe. Like, I have had adults buy, like, I know a few adults that like kind of like work from home and they kind of like just play with slime at their desk. And then that's also an amazing way. It, isn't slime isn't just for kids it's pretty much one of the best stress relievers you could have and then yeah so you guys could get the activator pens but don't worry if you guys don't want to get that all our care kits do come with one activator pen you can kind of check that out our um our more clear our clear slimes it's made with clear glue it's it's a little bit more sticky. It gets stickier faster. Like some of our other slimes, you will probably never have to use the activator pen at all. But just keep that in mind. You will have to use the activator pen a little bit on this because it does, especially when it's like in a hot room or just like kind of like sits in your car when you go to like wherever and just like kind of just cooks in the sun, just it, it will be sticky. If you guys want to kind of keep it a little bit better, the best thing to keep it cool, if it's like on a super hot day, you could put it in like a refrigerator or something, 
I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't put it in the freezer unless you want uh, a block of slime. So there's that. That's pretty much the main things. We did, if you guys have been with us for a long time, you've kind of noticed we've really done some different changes. Like over time, we've kind of changed up the design of our containers. We've had to do a lot of research. If you guys realize our labels are, if you guys drop these containers, um, they do break. They do kind of crack. I've done that a few times in the shop when I accidentally drop something or if I'm carrying like 10 slimes in my hand at the same time. Um, I will accidentally drop one and sometimes it shatters, sometimes it doesn't break. It really, that's, a, that's the only thing I really don't like about the containers a little bit. It's just a little bit more fragile than the other ones. But I've had a lot more people complain about not being able to get all the slime out of the container. Like, like this is one of our test slimes. So this will not be sold to anyone. Like you can kind of see, like you can just get a lot more slime out of the containers. Our old ones kind of like just went in, like kind of like went down and it kind of like spread a little bit more to kind of just like, just like a good like honey type of container. We're not selling honey obviously, but we did have a honey slime actually, which was actually pretty fun. I'll probably make another one uh, later on. I'm just not realizing summer's pretty much over now. So my probably should have made it a while ago, but there's always time for some new slimes. So like, that's kind of what's nice. And the slime, like, it's a great, like golden kind of yellow color. It also like, depending where you're playing with it, it kind of like shines in the light, which is actually really fun. And yeah, you can kind of, I don't know if I'll be able to do it now, but you can kind of like, that's pretty cool. And I filmed some videos on this where I would like fill up like a cup of like the ice cubes for like a fun like kind of ad type of thing over uh, TikTok and YouTube and all of our other social media platforms. I uh, kind of like not ad activated so it can just be a little bit more fun and I'll kind of like put the slime in the container and I'll be like a perfect like drink type of thing which is really really fun to film. Um, I actually worked with some other people to film that, which was actually a really, really cool experience. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the container. I'm going to go ahead and put that there. This slime is really fun, but keep in mind, if it does touch anything like a wall, um, the best thing is use like a super, super like flat or like kind of like you can tell we're using like metal tables. So the slime does not stick to this. Just keep in mind. Be careful what you put the slime on. If you set it on like a carpet, you're not gonna get it out. It's gonna stick to the carpet. If you accidentally get it onto your clothes, you're pretty much screwed. It's not gonna come off. I've probably gone, I've gone through a lot of shirts and I've gone through a lot of shoes when I accidentally dropped a slime down here when I'm like, my hands are super dirty. I have to go wash them in the sink or something and I come back and accidentally step in it. It's just, it's really hard to get slime off. So I've actually done a few tests if you guys want to check that video out, we've done, we've got like little pieces of carpet or like little just like pieces of fabric. We've done like multiple different types of slimes, like clear slime, cloud dome, um, just stuff like that. Um, and then like that, some slime there. So then we'll like kind of dump it on there and pretty much this one stuck to pretty much everything except the table. So just be careful. We do talk about that. And most of all, these, these slimes are not edible. They're 100% not edible. They're made with like glue, activator, there's a borax in the um, activator solution. No, it's, it's made with a lot of chemicals. So just keep in mind, don't eat it. It's just not, not none of our slimes in the shop are edible. I'm thinking about doing a video of how to make edible slime someday, kind of like figuring that video out, out and how to actually do that. So, if you guys want to see that video, please subscribe, hit the notification, awesome assignment video, like this video. We really appreciate you guys when you uh, show support to the channel and show support to the shop and you like place orders or just like give us ideas of like new slimes. Really, really helps us out. This is the end of the video if you guys uh, really like these types of videos and if you want to see me talk about other slimes and go a lot more detail into some of our newer slimes maybe, maybe our cookie dough slime, maybe our birthday cake slime, maybe our pineapple slime, please comment that down and I'll see you guys tomorrow when we post next. Peace.